Andrew Heaney's on the bump. This will be his fifth start. One and one with a 4.26 ERA. And he's throwing the ball really well the last couple starts against the Dodgers. Dodgers at the start of the day, a game up in the National League West at 14 and 7. Bookie Betts leading things off in right field. That's out toward right center field. Trout is there. First out is in the book. So two out free pass brings up A.J. Pollock out toward right field and tailing away from Brian Goodwin, but he makes a leaping catch at the he, last second. He covered a lot of ground to get to that baseball off the bat. I'm thinking he's going to try to cut that off and prevent Turner from scoring. Here is Walker Bueller. The first pitch strike percentage last year was about 65, 66 percent. He's a little bit below that this year, but Dave Roberts thinks he's a starter two away from rounding into shape and being Walker Bueller we expect. Tommy Listella has a five game hitting streak. He's batting 286. One, two. Ground ball. Right on cue it off of Kike and into shadow right beyond him. Mookie Betts is backing up on it. Keeps uh, Lestella over at first base. Okay. So Trout will bat with a man on. Bellinger could almost shake Tommy Lestella's hand in the lead. That's skied out to center field. Towering shot. A.J. Pollock going back. That is gone. Big fly for Mike Trout. Two nothing Angels here in the first. Going back to getting a mistake. Breaking ball. Got it. Trout dead center field. Ninth home run, 18 RBI. That power continues. 433 distance wise for Trout. After some firm fastballs throughout that at bat, Bueller comes with a curveball, middle of the plate. Trout didn't miss it. Had some height to it as well. Spins up there, stays the heart of the plate. Trout will not miss that one. Eight home runs in the last 11 games for Trout. That is impressive power. That is his 294th home run. As Rendon lines one to center, nice sliding catch by A.J. Pollock for the second out. We've seen A.J. Pollock this year with the good speed and that with speed and a great break off the bat. Once he goes over to second, Kike down at first for Austin Barnes. Was driven in five over his last five games. He's hit safely in four straight. And he's 0-2. Barnes strikes out. Two down. And it remained focused now. You got a big out there, but you have one of the best players in the game coming up now. In Mookie Betts. No place to put this guy. And he aligns this one into left field, a base hit. Bellinger will score. Here comes the throw in from Taylor Ward on his way to the plate, Max Muncy, and it's a tie game on a two out, two run single by Mookie Betts. Betts with his 16th and 17th RBIs. And a clutch hit for Mookie early in the ball game. This one in the air to right center. That's going to get down and head toward the wall, cut off by Trout. Bellinger will be held at third base and into second is Taylor second and third two men out and Chris Taylor with his third double of the season. So Taylor at scoring position and Bellinger 90 feet away for Max Muncy who walked and scored in the second. And it's on the ground left side that's through base hit. Bellinger scores here comes Taylor behind him 4 2 Dodgers for the second consecutive inning of Dodgers come up with a two out two run base hit and for Max Muncy this one has to feel particularly good Muncy with his first hit of the season with runners in scoring position that'll bring a smile to his face oh yeah he might want the ball big moment now for Rendon who's been swinging the bat exceptionally well four straight games with a home run for Anthony Rendon breaking ball toward the corner that is going to get down and go for extra bases it goes over the wall it'll only bring home one that's one of those ones you just hope it stayed low enough or hit the low part of that wall. Stays hot. Rendon, he continues to swing the bat well against Walker Bueller and the Dodgers. 75 pitches thrown by Heaney. Longest outing of the year is five and two thirds. Two starts ago. Pulled toward the hole. Fletcher to the backhand. Off balance throw and got him. According to the first base umpire, Lance Barrett. That is an incredible yep. play. How quickly he got rid of that baseball in the transfer, how long that throw is for Fletcher. That's about as good as a play you're going to see all season long. Two in scoring position with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. That's out toward right center field. Mookie Betts moving over, and he dived. He can to get there. Renhefa will score. Fletcher will be stopped. It'll go as a single and an RBI. We're tied at four. Chance to take the lead here now. Nobody out. Fletcher at third. Lestella at first. 4-4 game. Trout pulls on the left side. Muncy with a diving stop. Throws to second. Low throw. Kike goes into that first baseman pose. Gets the out. The run scores. And the Angels lead at 
What a play by Max Muncy. And the stretch by Kike Hernandez. Trout thought he had a, another hit. Ends up getting an RBI out of it. What a play by Muncy. So Pena will face the top of the Dodger order. Mookie Betts is one for three with two runs batted in. He swings and hammers one. This one's deep to left center field. It is back. It is gone. A home run. Mookie Betts ties the game in the seventh. Home run number eight for Mookie. Well, that's the magic number for the Dodgers. Five runs. They are 12 and 0 this year, and this is the blast that tied it up. Pointing right back at you is Rendon. Swings at the first pitch. That's stabbed by Hernandez for the first out of the Angel eighth. With a solid play. Slicing back towards him. He's got to judge the curvature of the ball and timing with the jump. Does it very nicely. They put Bellinger on with an intentional walk. They don't want to face him. Now they're going to face Chris Taylor. He's chopped on the right side. Renjifo fields, throws, and gets it there in time. All three outs on ground balls handled by the Angels second baseman. Dodgers leave a pair on here in the ninth. Max had a single in his last at bat. That is out toward left field. Chris Taylor moving back on it onto the track near the wall. And he will make the catch in front of the 390 side. Another would be home run in every ballpark. But this one. The 0-2 from McGee. Swung on it. Missed strike three. 96 upstairs. McGee faces five batters and retires them all. So we go to extra innings. Taylor will be at second base. Max Muncy trying to get Taylor in. There goes Taylor down for third, and he is in with a head first slide. Well, this is interesting because now it's going to change the defensive alignment. And that's one of those decisions where you better have it if you're going to take it with nobody out. Deep to right field, back to the wall. Goodwin, and he'll make the catch. This will get Taylor in. The Dodgers take the lead 6 5. Well, Jansen has to face Trout. He's faced him seven times before. Trout is one for seven. Call oh, strike three, and the Dodgers win. The Dodgers with a run in the top of the 10th. Hang on and beat the Angels tonight 6-5. to five.